What's happening, everybody? It is our come on, turn it up. It is our one-year anniversary show, and we are coming at you live from Philly H Thrift, the coolest thrift store in the country. As oh, oh man, my lower third's not on. I, crap, Ola. <laughs> <laughs> As always, I'm Vegas Jay, but this week I am Philly Jay. And and May. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I had a refresh, so. There, there we go. go. Oh, it's not working now. Oh, well, okay. all right. Okay. Technical difficulties right out of the gate. And we have our first or our biggest live studio audience. Yay, Yay. everybody. You're on. Yay. Woo! And yes, I'm well aware the camera on the audience is not the greatest, but we wanted to show you guys. And we have a uh, we have an extensive studio. Look at this. Look yeah. at look at all the people here. This is awesome. And they're all sitting in chairs that you can purchase here at yes. Philly Ace. The variety, they're very eclectic chairs. The variety of chairs is yes. off the hook. So, so that if is. You, if you're in need of, a, of an eclectic chair, they have a great assortment here. So. Yep. So we, uh, the Nate, Nate and I have been, I've been shopping at the store even before I knew Nadine. I was here speaking in Philly years ago at an eBay event, and uh, my mom and dad were with me. Oh, my mom sent me these awesome balloons. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. I got, somebody comes upstairs and goes, is your last name Smith? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, we have a delivery. I'm like, for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, yeah, my mom and dad and I shopped here. We just stumbled across it uh, six years ago. Uh, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's a cool store. So when I started hanging out with Nadine, I was like, oh, can we go to that one cool store? And uh, so we've been coming here ever since, yeah. and we absolutely love yes. this store and you guys and – I'm saying you guys because we are being joined right now. Uh, give me a quick second. I'm trying to get the feed up so I can watch the feed. Mute. There we go. We are being joined. By there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So we are being joined at the top of the show here. And the show is going to be a little different than our normal. We're going to have a few of our segments, not all of them. Um, because I'm, I'm guessing they didn't want me to drink cocktails in the middle of their store during uh, noon, one o'clock hour. So we'll save that for when I'm back home in my office. <laughs> uh, but we're being joined right now by Adam and Christina from Philly Age Thrift. So let's get the yep. camera pan to them. Let's get them the mic. Hi, hey, hey. hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hey. Happy anniversary. Thank yeah, thank you. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Philly Age Thrift. Why it's so awesome. Uh, what you guys do. How long's it been here? You know, give us the, uh, the the bio. Yeah, I'll give you a little spiely kind of thing that I, I tend to give. Um, it was almost 11 years ago. Uh, a few friends and I started the organization, and uh, I like to say that we're longtime AIDS activists and lovers of junk. And so we put the two together, and this is kind of what we came up with. Yeah, we, we opened the store originally around the corner. We had a much, much smaller space, and uh, we were there for six years, but we really grew out of all of that space. And so we found this. It used to be a big furniture showplace, Krongold's Furniture. And um, so we've been here for five years now. And, um, yeah, I mean, our, our mission is to help folks living with HIV and AIDS. And what we do is we give... We, we sell all the donated items. Everything in this place is donated. Um, we, uh, outside of staff, we have 15 paid staff people. We have close to about 100 volunteers. Wow. Help us keep the whole place going seven days a week. So outside of staff and operating costs, we give all of our proceeds to the AIDS fund. Those are the folks that uh, do the big annual AIDS walk here in Philadelphia. Um, they're a fundraising organization like us, but it's easy to give it to them because they do the administrative part. We give them $20,000 a month. They combine the walk money with our money. They distribute it for us to 19 aid service organizations here in Philadelphia, and um, which is fantastic because it goes to all forms of care, you know, prevention, outreach, case management, research. We also have a. Um, I'm sorry, I keep talking, but <laughs> we, we also have a. Uh, <laughs> we also have um, a direct service. We give vouchers to those organizations. So, like, if there's someone who's HIV positive and maybe they're falling on hard times, maybe they don't have a job, just got out of jail, something like that, when they get approved by their case manager, they bring it here to us. We give them fifty dollars worth of clothing, kitchenware, things like that. Yeah. And um, and just about a year ago, we opened our own HIV testing center. It's Right between the shoe section and the Christmas yeah, section, <laughs> and um, right between shoes and Christmas. <laughs> right. we'll and show, we we we'll partnered 
we, we partnered with five of those organizations that already do that work and they use the space and they provide free rapid HIV testing on the weekends and uh, the idea behind putting something like that in this very non-traditional space is a way to sort of normalize testing, break the stigma. Some folks maybe they're a little uh, fearful of going to a clinical environment, maybe their own doctor. We want to give people another option to, to know their status. Um, so you can come get a test, buy a really cool piece of art. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. <laughs> and as you can see behind Christina, behind Adam, behind Nadine, behind myself, this is some wicked cool art. Yeah. <laughs> now that's my that's my only bummer when I come shop here. It's hot, it's tough to get cool art on a plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Vegas, and so uh, she bought me a piece here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and, he's got uh, it back. The, the next stop, uh, two stops from now is on my tra uh, my travels is my folks' house. So oh, right. they'll be sh mom. You'll be shipping home a painting to me. <laughs> yeah, he had me go back for the painting. I, I, I skipped it, and then he's like, "No, go back." I'm like, "How are you gonna get it home?" It's like, "I don't care. I want it." So I, I went back. Yeah, what of our wonderful uh, volunteers, uh, Amber Cohen. She she put together yeah, all the artwork for us. Yeah. You know, she's our, she's our, our decorator. Wonderful. She's great. She really yeah. did great. And Adam here, he's our one of our managers, and he is the mayor of South Street, pretty much. <laughs> you know, everyone in the neighborhood, in the district, and uh, all the customers. And so, yeah, he's he prices everything, runs runs the place. Pretty it's much. Good times, good job. How long you been here, Adam? I've been here eight years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I used to work at uh, a Goodwill in Delaware, and as the commute was killing me, <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna start looking for jobs around around the city. So I wandered past here, and I gave in my resume, and Christina was like, oh, we're not hiring right now. And I went, all right. And then she, 30 seconds later, she called me. and was like, when can you come in? And I was like, all right. Now, did somebody quit in that 30 seconds? No, it was, I, I think it like was like, a, yeah, I think I like the resume. Yeah, I like the resume. And, and we were debating on whether we could, and this was very early on when we didn't really have many staff people, but we decided that this would be the right fit, and he, he's... Oh, really yeah, Adam's great. Or was the resume that good? They were like, hey, hey Tim, yeah, you're fired. Adam, you're hired. <laughs> Tim, you stink. Get out. He had 80-inch gauges in yeah, his ears huge, at the time, too. Huge so. gauges and a huge beard. It was the opposite of what I am now. But, uh, yeah, I loved it. And uh, we were in a small store, really small store, hilariously small. Yeah. So at first I was like, oh, can I work in a small store? But then... It's just you. Meet, when you're here and you're like volunteering and you're working, you just meet so many great people. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, it's a real. I always joke around. Like the first twenty people I text in my phone now, hey, what are you doing? They all work here. Wow. It's yeah. just it's great. It's good times. Yeah. yeah. Good people. We um, we have a studio audience today, which uh, um, oh, where'd they go? Did that <laughs> camera go off? Huh. They were there. Well, they're still there. Here, <laughs> say hi, everybody. Ah, much better. All right. So uh, we had everyone bring a donation, uh, and then we also have door prizes for everybody. So we, uh, we want to donate to the cause, uh, and thank you for letting us sit here. Uh, so we have, uh, from this awesome suit lines, we have $380 to the oh, cause. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so very, very there you guys go. Really appreciate you know, it. We figured uh, you guys would want to sit here and take up your space. So yes. We'll, we'll get back, back to fun. the uh, to the community here in Philly. So thank you. We're 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 honored and we're we're glad to have you here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's give a big round of applause to Christina and Adam. Thank hey. you guys very much for thank you. stopping at the top of the thank show. You. All right. That was awesome. All right. Thank you. Scooch down here a little bit nice so I can. All righty. So yeah, here we are. I'll get back to our. Uh... Cool. Everything's going well. All right. Going well. Other than we've lost the feed of the audience, but if we'll definitely show you the audience on this camera but uh let's get to our normal uh some of our normal segments what i do with my speaker hello speaker oh boy here talk for a second uh, okay there, so, uh, <laughs> there we go all right all right let's get to our normals uh, and and we're i'm working off of one computer so bear with me just a smidge i'm out of the camera i'm gonna get you back in hang on i'm gonna get you back. hey there you are okay. it's a little tough when somebody's tall and somebody's short I'm not that short. Uh, but I'm that tall. That's sure, the problem. That's true. That is the real problem. All right. Let's see if this is working. All right. We just need to turn it up, and it is working. Mm -hmm. Try again. All right. Now it's time for our scores of the week. Uh, oh, what would you just do? You got to back on. Yeah, we got a crazy uh, Hang on. Okay, I got you. All right, cool. <laughs> and there's Pam. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Thank you for fixing that, Pam. All right, cool. All right, we got the studio audience back. Yeah. Thank you. All right, how many in the studio audience have had good scores this week? 
One person raised their hand. The rest of you doing? Nobody saw anything good this week, but but right here. Yvonne just. All right. You guys were slow to throw your hands up there. You just drifted some things today. That's a score. So. All right. Well, let's get to our scores. So, uh, this, these are our scores. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let me share that screen. Hang on a minute. Oh, there's our scores of the week, and. Ooh, there we go. All right, Nay, your first score is yours. Yeah, so I need to be um, listing more. So my, I really haven't had a lot of scores this week. But this one was a score because it, it flipped pretty quickly, and it was just a, a very ordinary six-inch tall vase. It was kind of cool, and it was purchased from a viewer, which is always a score, and oh, cool. it was able to ship FOMO. So really, you know, 19.99 with free shipping, you know, it was, and I think I paid a dollar for it, so... I like this. this is yeah, cool. this is a cool. I um, get a good shot of it. That is awesome. Yes. So this is a Manhattan uh, subway transit map of, of uh, New York, and it was an apron, and it was it was just a really cool apron. I, you could use it as an apron. You could use it as wall art I don't, or fabric. So I, I just sold that and um, added shipping to it, fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. So that wasn't bad. Um, but it was a cool apron. All right, and here's my scores this week. And I realize now that the audience can't see our scores, so you just got to feeder the mind, people, feeder the mind. Uh, I showed this actually in our Facebook group, the Thrifting Board. I love, love, love buying vintage windbreakers, and I love you more when they're very, very specific. So I sold the USA National Wheelchair Games. Uh, and this jacket looks to be about the, uh, the late 70s. So... Uh, I sat store for quite a while, about two years, but I paid two bucks and I sold it for thirty dollars. So that was a cool score. But I just love hunting down vintage windbreakers, and I know I'm going to sound like a, I'm beating a dead horse, but another lot of cassettes sold. I sold sixteen punk cassettes for sixty-seven dollars. No. Now, back to the audience here for a second. Let me uh, let me get shoot to the audience. I've been telling all you to buy cassettes for a year now, at least. How many of you actually have bought cassettes since I've told you? Okay, good hands, good hands. How many of you have sold cassettes? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I uh, though You can't hear the audience, but she said, well, you didn't ask if we listed them yet. Okay, so how many of you have bought and listed and sold? All right, we got a couple of those. All right, so get them sold. So this was just 16 punk sets. I paid uh, 10 or 12 bucks for those 16. They sold for $67 plus shipping. And that's kind of the key. Look up every cassette you get. If you've got something amazing, list it by itself. If not, a nice collection of punk. You know, and here's what I figure. Most people who buy this, they're not buying it for the collectability. They're buying it because they got an old beater truck. They're working on the back 40, bailing hay, and they got a cassette deck in the player. They're like, oh, I love punk. Or come to my house, I've got the old school intercom through the house with a cassette deck in it. So I'll throw on some music throughout the house. And, uh, yeah, nobody's, nobody's buying uh, cassettes because they put it in their brand new 2016 uh, Ford Raptor, that's for damn sure. And then, uh, and this is a little, I, I put this one for my mommy. My mom and dad sell lots and lots of scrubs. I sold this Curious George scrub top, used scrub top, for $30. So if you're now looking at the scrub section, again, you're leaving money on the table. Now, I would not buy a plain blue scrub in the used section, but something with a character or, mm -hmm. you know, a fun pattern. Oh, yeah. Try to make sure you get ones without blood on them. They, they tend to be uh, quicker I have, sellers. I have one with the, the evil queens of, of Disney. See, that's cool. Evil. And I have to get that listed, but that's, yeah. Now, I will tell you, though, this was a, a larger size. It was a 3XL, so I'm sure that helped the price. Uh, mediums, I probably wouldn't have got 30 bucks for it, but uh, it's a cute top. And so uh, I thought I did quite well with that. All right, before we go on to the duds, let's us do... Um, Let's do uh, some giveaways. So we have prizes galore for all of our audience members. I think we're able to get something. Mm -hmm. So everyone who donated ha has been given – oops, let me get us back on the screen – has been given a raffle ticket uh, as a thank you for the donation. And uh, we have uh, just tons and tons of prizes. We've got um, – here, I'll show you some stuff. I know everyone's going to want to win the tape. eBay tape. I heart thrifting sunglasses. Oh, jeez. We got an eBay uh, blow-up beach ball, eBay video slot tumblers, and because I am who I am, I bought a brand new Frankie's Tiki Mug to give away today, too. Oh, awesome. Ooh. Now, whoever wins this, I have a listing up. Don't try and beat my listing, please. <laughs> 
I helped a friend once. Well, I don't know if I call her a friend now. She found a cool mug, and uh, uh, she saw my listing. She copied my listing exactly and then priced it a dollar less. I'm like, gee, thanks. I'm so glad I could help you with your listing. All right, so let's draw a number and see who wins our first prize. We're not going to start with the mug. I'll be towards the end. Okay, at 664084. Yeah, you just need to do the last two numbers. Who's got 84? Okay, the audience isn't that big. Pam lost her ticket. Pam got her ticket last, and she lost it already. Okay. All right, next. 16. All right. Do you have one of these, Dave? All right, so here, here's the key with these, the video slots. eBay used to have video uh, slot machines in the casinos. And one day, higher up brass woke up, and they said, wait, we're sponsoring gambling? And so they ended the contracts. They destroyed all the machines. But... A thousand of these showed up at a thrift store one day. Yes, it still has the 99 cent price tag on it. Uh, and I looked out and I found a chair because all the chairs were embroidered with the old logo. Oh, wow. I found a chair in an antique mall for 30 bucks. So that sits in my house like a proud, uh, like I shot something. I'm like, yes, that is stuffed and mounted. And I have one of those and it's one of my favorite to be cups. All right, let's draw another number here. Okay, 11. 11. Four, one, one, one. Yeah, in the last two digits. Yeah. <laughs> we give you a pair of I Heart Thrifting shades. There you go. That's for you. Oops. And we'll do one more, and then we'll get back to our duds. Four one one five. Four one one five. Going once. Bingo. Whoa. Uh, let's see here. Would you like a uh, sippy cup? Sure. See, you picked a you picked a comfortable chair, but yes. it's a little tougher getting up. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll give away some more prizes in a bit. Let's get on to our duds. We've had our scores of the week. Now it's time for our duds. Don't let our mistakes be yours. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have too many duds this week, so... No, I just kind of wanted that. Uh, but we do have some to share. All right, so boom. Okay, so I have this vintage 80s. Uh, it's a John Roberts square neck, blue sun, uh, belted striped dress. And it's a size a 10, 12. And that, in 80s terms, that's actually big because 80s were usually big. And it's got puffy shoulders. It's a cool dress, though. So I photographed it on a background that kind of matches the stripes, that kind of highlights, and I thought my picture was pretty good. Um, I, I don't know why it's not selling. It is, I have I have it uh, for $79.99 with best offer. Maybe I need to lower the price, maybe I need to do something with the keywords, I don't know, but it's been sitting for way too long and I need to move it, so. Speaking of sitting for way too long, I bought these Mamma Mia flip-flops on uh, Thrift Hunter Season 1. Wow. And I, I bought uh, 12 pairs. They were a promo item, and they had Mamma Mia in the feet. So when you walked on the beach, it would say Mamma Mia as you walked down the beach. Uh, and I sold a couple right away, and then I lost them. And I, for over a year, I lost them. And one day, I was going through my where my empty shipping boxes are, and I'm like, boy, this empty box is awful heavy. Hey, look, 10 pair of flip-flops. All right, cool. I put them back up, have not sold a pair since. So if I, if any uh, ABBA viewers are watching and would like to buy a pair, uh, even though even though it only shows us one listed, I have like eight still, the item number is 111578-827-711. I have twenty four eighty nine on sale right now. Look, I'd take like 10 bucks. So if you like these, shoot me an offer of 10 bucks. Oh, I don't have make make well, a make offer. All right. Well, that's, could be, that also could be the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a dud all the way around. I'm a dud. <laughs> it's a dud. Holy crap! What a dud. Wow. Now this I thought would be cooler and go for more money, but the uh, I sold today for 22 bucks, and it, that's about the average. It's this cool army strong jersey, like baseball jersey, and it was so cool. I thought, you know, uh, but it, apparently not. I mean, 22 bucks is fine. I paid three bucks for it. But, I mean, yeah. I saw that, I'm like, oh, that's like a $40, $50 jersey. Yeah, you would think. But... Nope. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. 
and I just realized that we were supposed to simulcast on Facebook, and I forgot. I see, uh, oh. I see the gentleman who was going to help me oh, do that no. messaging me. I'm like, oh, I forgot. So, um, Brandon, if you're watching this, sorry. Oh, and by the way, see, see, I have my thrifty business shirt on. Where would where would yours be, Jay? Because uh, you you had uh, messaged me a couple days ago and said, make sure you wear your thrifty business, the green one. So I had to change, I had to change my. Mine is in the shirt. hotel room in the dresser drawer because I unpacked my suitcase and forgot it there. Place so, so I wore my blue plaid. I'm so sorry. And I, yeah, I have my yeah. Shirt on. She's usually the forgetful one. Uh... <laughs> so Pam just messaged me from the audience. She found her ticket, <laughs> and she won. <laughs> hey Pam, do you have a six plus by any chance? No. Okay. I did, I yeah. That, I All right, Pam. Here's a tumbler for you. Well, I already have one of those. Okay. Else. Glasses. I heard thrifting. All right. See, see how interactive this is. The the audience is messaging me from the audience. <laughs> that's awesome. So yes, I am very sorry. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang. On. Go back. Do that again. We'll show the audience. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, you should put them on for us. Okay. Yeah, but I'm very sorry. I forgot my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, that was yeah. about halfway to the uh, store. I'm like, ah, crap. Yeah, because I had to change my whole. Uh... Around. And I want to say uh, thank you to Michelle Gavreau. She gave me a bunch of these to give away, so she had made had these made up. You are adorable, Pam. Thank you. Uh, Yay. Thank you, Pam. All right, let's head over to the chat because I've it's it's tough. Uh... Oh. Well, we can see it. Bridget's in there. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Is chat working? Yeah, they they saw her. That is not working for me on the show. It keeps jumping around. Huh, that's weird. We can see it. All right, well, I see some people in there, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get back to it. Um, Thanks for everybody who's watching. Yes, thank you, everyone who's tuned yes, in. Yes. Uh, and uh, this, has been, uh, this has been a crazy ride so far. It's been one awesome year. Oh, yeah. But yeah. speaking of crazy rides, <laughs> oh, actually, you're going to have to do yours first because I need to do something. Okay. So let's uh, let's do this. Close encounters of the thrifty kind, 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 kind. So this is where we uh, run into people who uh, we have a fun little story with or interaction. And uh, I got to send myself a picture because mine involves a picture. So Nadine's going to tell you hers while I take care of my picture. Yeah, so there, there was a guy who went up to the register to buy a T-shirt. And he then asked them if they could please cut all the tags. Which is <laughs> so he he put on a shirt and wore it to the counter to yeah. buy it and then take the tags off. That, for, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> now we didn't see him walk in. But was he shirtless? I don't know. Was, yeah, I don't know. What he, happened? What happened that he needed a shirt <laughs> that they needed? Yeah, yeah, I don't know because he walked out with the shirt with the tags cut off and and I, and not alone just the you part of just putting on a fresh shirt at the thrift store. Yeah, not there's anything wrong with the thrift store. I love the thrift yeah, store, but still, but still, I would I always wash. And um, yeah, so we were wondering if he walked in shirtless, like. Would like to know that. All right. Um, I'm so sorry. I thought I had everything prepped, and I am. Uh, we have a uh, we have a, a thrifty encounter with all of our audience here too. Yeah. Yes. Where in the heck is my picture? All right. So uh, why don't you uh, why don't you draw a couple numbers and give out okay. a few prizes while I look for the sure. my thrifty encounter? Yes. Okay. We have four one one two. Oh, okay. there it is. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, Here, uh, Greg, will you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There you go. Okay. All right. So, as I'm getting this picture set up here, let me, uh, there we go. Oops. There we go. All right. So, I'll tell you a story. So, I'm grad sale with my friend Vicky, Vicky, who was on our show in the past. And uh, it was the day that it turned to summer in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So at some point it was going to be hot that day, but it was early in the morning. So we had um, we had the windows down, and we're just trolling along. Plus, I'm giving a speech this Thursday in Port Huron, Michigan, uh, about how to have a kick-ass garage sale. So we all buy stuff. We all sell stuff online, but we all have our duds. And a good way to get rid of your duds is to have a kick-ass garage sale, and there is an art to having a garage sale to make the most money. So while we're garage sailing and we are shopping, Something that seemed about this size flew in my window and went right behind me. So it's between me and the back of the back of my seat. 
and I hop out of the car to look. I thought it was a branch, piece of trash, something. Nope, it was this little tiny bird. He, no. uh, okay, I used to... I was like, yeah, you know me, I'm an animal person, so the, my first question was, is the bird okay? I used to drive, uh, and I've never told this on the, on this show, but my first career, uh, and you guys will all enjoy this, for those who don't know, maybe none of you know, uh, I sized cheerleaders for their uniforms. So my job was to see how big their boobs were, see how round their butt was, and then go here, try this on. Problem was, I didn't live in my territory, so it took an hour and a half to get to my territory, and I do like 3,000 miles a week or every other week. So I've driven a lot of miles. I've never had a live bird fly in my car and land between me and the seat. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't crush the So what bit. had happened is his head got stuck in the seat, like where the bottom and the top meet. Yeah. <clears throat> and I wasn't sure if he was alive or not. He was so cute, too. He showed me the pictures. But... And luckily I have like 50 Bath & Body Works coupons in the back of my seat, so... I grabbed a couple, and I went to get him, and he was away. He was alive. So I, I, I picked him up, and uh, I, went, I went to set him in the shade, and he flew off my uh, little perch, and then he flew to the shade. So, so he, was, he, he, was okay, he was okay, but okay. I've driven millions of miles in my life, and I have never had a live animal yeah, enter my car. Wow. So yeah. there, there's, my, there's my thrifty encounter, the, the bird. All righty. Yes, that was my job. And my mom worked for the same company. She worked for that company. It's called Varsity Spirit Fashions for about 25 years. My sister worked for the company. My aunt worked for the company. And uh, it was uh, <clears throat> it was a fun job uh, because it's school. It's, it was a school-type job. So when school's not in session, neither am I. So I didn't work in the winter. Didn't, I did a little bit in the summer. <clears throat> but it was mainly spring and fall. All right, one more. Um, oh, do we not do have more segments today? Um, I think I don't think so. Yeah, because our thrifty tip is going to be uh, I'm going to give you a tour of the store, so that'll yeah, be our thrifty so. tips. Like check out this cool store. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's have a uh, let's have a just on the fly guest come up because uh, a couple people wore uh, clothing based on uh, me, but this this is this is by far the winner here. This awesome, dress, awesome this dress is the bomb diggity. Beautiful. So, so let's get this. Oops, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the wrong That's feed. A beautiful dress. Oh my god. Thank you. Love it. All right, introduce yourself. Tell us how you dress too. Wow. Um, I'm Laura Good. Hi. Um, this dress I actually got thrifting uh, long before I was selling anything um, from a thrift store in New York called Housing Works. I paid 30 bucks for it. And what's actually really awesome about this dress, which when I bought it, I was like, this thing is ridiculous. Like I can, now I just dress like this all the time because. I can, but um, at the time it was very over the top for me. So um, my boyfriend and I were walking down the street in Manhattan one day. We're on like Park Avenue or Fifth Avenue or something very expensive, and this dress is in the window of a major department store. And I was actually really angry. I was like, "That's my dress! Like, why? You know, <laughs> it's supposed to be different and unique." And um, it this print was reproduced by Paul and Joe. And so the dress, my boyfriend called the store. The dress was actually. For sale, it was like fourteen hundred dollars or something, and then I felt amazing. It's like I paid thirty. So, <laughs> so okay. uh, thank you. Uh, housing Works, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so. I just shop yeah. there, and Beautiful. I do find them. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. I do find Housing Works quite expensive, but but there's always deals to be found digging through. Like there's always yeah. something. And you're very well accessorized. Yes. Thank you. I bought this yeah. on Instagram. Awesome. So, oh, wow. Nice. Allison Kapner originals, stuff. in case anybody is wondering. Um, but yeah, Housing Works is great uh, for anybody who's in New York City. Um, the locations down in Soho um, on Mott Street, I think, there's like next to a bookstore. They're actually a little bit more vintage based, whereas some of the um, locations that they have uptown tend to be more contemporary stuff. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for. But it's good. It, it's it's like more curated sort of, I think, oh, just pricing. Just say curated. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, I, um, the last deal I found when we were there with my wife, uh, huge ink tour. I forget which one it was, but it was mm -hmm. five bucks, and it, they were they sell for 100 So yeah. although the dresses were quite expensive, yeah. you know, I dug. I found the deals. I found some good uh, DVD box sets. Well, cool. Thank you for dress wearing that. That was awesome. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. <laughs> All right, yeah. And talk about their uh, take somebody else. All right, so let, uh, we we'll have somebody else come up, but let me uh, let's show you why one of the reasons why we love Philly Ace Thrift as a store. They are very creative with their tags oh, yeah. on their shirts. So take that one. Uh -huh. and I think we give that credit to Adam, who is here. So, like, here's this awesome like smoking jacket, and the tag says, "Hell yeah." 
And now, what other thrift store have you been in and you saw a tag that said, hell yeah. And this one is a rock and roll Egyptian shirt. And the tag says, rock like an Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take that one. And, uh... This one is every athlete's top secret secret weapon. And the tag says, shh, it's a secret. <laughs> And this one, this this uh, leopard print dress, it says, uh, smack it. <laughs> smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. Yeah, this is. <clears throat> and this was obviously just someone in the back was looking at the shirt going, oh, yeah. I, I don't know if this is the art of this Don Donovan or what. It just says Donovan. But the tag says, I have one friend named Donovan. <laughs> so obviously, who's ever pricing that day is like, I've got a buddy named Donovan. I'm gonna throw him some love on my tag. And this and this uh, lovely shirt says, um, "Fine for love." Aw, the ladies go aw. <laughs> <clears throat> There's an Elvis T-shirt, and it says, uh, "You ain't nothing but a hound dog." Very apropos. Yes, we have a um, autism city. No autism, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Autism City Limits. <laughs> I read Autism City Limits. All right, if I could read. This is an Austin City Limits, and it says, find me, please. With, little a, little, a, little heart. with a little heart. Uh, and then this one, you know, if you look at the shirts from the front, you only see the front. Well, this looks kind of boring, but this tag says, hey, there's a cat on the back. So, oh, there's a cat on the back. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> so, I mean, of course you're not going to buy every shirt, but I stop at every shirt just to read the yeah. tags because it, they're very, it's like, you yeah. don't, you don't often thrift and, and get enjoyment from the tags. Yeah, and everything, they put thought into all of yeah. their tags and you get, you get a little laugh too. Yeah, it's, so. It's fun, makes it fun. So, yeah, so if uh, somebody says, I have you all shook up. <laughs> <laughs> what? With your autism city limits. Oh, gosh, yes. We'll, we'll just forget about that. It's a new show. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right, let's give a couple more prizes away. Then uh, the store actually gave Nay and I something to do something with. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to hang on to it for now. But we'll is show that. They, yeah, we will. Uh, let's give a couple more prizes away. But, yeah, we have something cool to give uh, to show you guys that the store just got donated, and uh, they wanted us to have and do something with. Yeah, so it's really We'll awesome. figure out something cool to do with it. Uh, 4113. 113. Cool. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. Everyone gets a bracelet. So this isn't a prize. This is for everybody. So we have uh, the thrifting board bracelet, thrifting board surfer bracelets with a little shark on it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. All right. Okay. Uh, would you like a tumbler? Would you like a hacky sack? Would you like an eBay notebook? Would you like a thrifting glasses? How about a tumbler? Cool. There you go. Tumbler is yours. Pick another number, today. Four one one zero. One one zero. One one zero. Okay. Do you happen to have a six plus iPhone? Okay. okay. Then you cannot win that prize. Uh, what would you like? You like uh, glasses? I also have an eBay keychain. I have eBay headphones. Ooh. <laughs> hey, uh, where'd the tape go? Where'd it go? Someone steal the tape? <laughs> oh, it's right here. <laughs> Would you like a tape? Tape is yours. There we go. I thought someone stole the tape. I just set a beach ball on top of it, dummy. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Don't forget to grab a bracelet when you're up here. Let's get, uh, let's get another guest up here. Greg, why don't you come up here and tell us about what you do and how we met and blah, blah, blah. So, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Purdy. Uh, one of the funniest hey. men I know, too. You don't know many people. <laughs> Need to get out more. So, tell us your story and why we know each other. Um... Two different stories. We know each other because I thrift, and I met Jason a couple years ago. We had a uh, conference in Maryland about an hour and a half south of here, and I brought about 60 people into the shop, and Jason came in from Las Vegas. It was uh, during the time when he was speaking before Congress to petition them on behalf of eBay and Amazon sellers, uh, on behalf of eBay sellers, I should say, because I guess eBay uh, paid for the trip. And uh, so I asked him, since you're going to be in D.C., why don't you come up into Maryland and speak to my group? And he agreed, so we threw together a conference. And that was two years ago, April, and uh, we hung out for a couple of days and did some thrifting. So that's how we met, and that's what I do. I thrift. I sell on eBay. I sell on Amazon. Thrifting is a part of my business. It's not my only business, but it's a good part. It's something I enjoy doing. And uh, I, my margins are better with the stuff that I thrift than with most anything else that I do. 
because you buy stuff for you know for a buck and flip it on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. So, or I personally, I buy things and then take them apart and sell the pieces of things for ridiculous amounts of money a lot of times too. Just sold, I shipped it out yesterday or the day before a seat from a riding tractor that I had actually used to cut my lawn for several years until I blew the motor apart. And uh, so I took the seat off and I got $119 on eBay for it and shipped it out two days. So that's awesome. I love Outside it. Outside the box, yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it. Never just throw something away. Check if the parts are worth something yeah, because it, on, and everything, everything. Because if you have something that, especially like on toys that are like, like you showed me that arc. Mm-hmm. You know, Nadine. Uh, oh yeah, helped yeah, Nadine right. organize her storage room yesterday, had, and she had an arc. A little people know his arc, and I know that that arc will sell alone because that set is no longer made. So, um, and, and the rest of it, my kids played with it. It's it's long gone. The pieces are lost, but I have that the arc still, and I'm gonna sell that alone. Yeah. So. And like I said, Greg's hilarious. So say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> Right on the spot. I, I, no, I should have I should have thought of that because that happens to comedians all the time. I have no idea what they say. I'm not funny, so I, I don't have anything to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of figured you say that. It's a bonus thought. Thank you much. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for driving in. Hey, so who drove in from the furthest? So how long did it take you to get here? An hour and a half. How far? How long? Oh, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you you could have walked. I think. I think. All right, six, six hours. hours. Okay. Woo! All right. All right. I think that's a. I think you get the. So I'll tell you what. Just for coming in for six hours, you'll get the big prize. You get the tiki mug. I'll send that back there. That is called the lava lech in green. They don't make the green anymore, so it is a collectible. Um, they make it in blue now. Good morning. Pick a prize. There we go. Let me check the chat while you're picking a prize. Okay. One four one one seven. Okay. There you go. What would you like? Would so you we got uh, for one one seven is our new winner. It's uh, eBay notebook. That's eBay an old. Notebook. Yeah, the notebook. Okay. Is a notebook. You're welcome. Alrighty. All right. Let's. Uh... <laughs> the chat is asking who's furthest from Philly. So they're they're now talking amongst themselves. Who's the furthest from Philly? <laughs> All right. So who came the closest? Like who could walk? How far? How far? Uh, Oh, a mile, yeah. I think I win for the closest. So. <laughs> well, you don't count. No, I, I, I don't. I could, I'm in walking distance from here, so. No. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, we still have our, uh, our trivia questions. So. Oh, crap. Yeah. I totally forgot about the trivia questions. Yeah. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, no. I have them, I have them on my iPad. No, no, no. I put no, them in they're, on, they're on my iPad, so if I can grab my I, iPad. Yeah, go ahead. I wonder if I gave them the donation in the pocket. <laughs> so they're going to go through that money and go, what the hell are these four questions? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's do the, let's do the, uh, let's do them. Well, I, I know the answer to uh, three of the four off the top of my head. Okay, everybody get ready. Here's how it's going to work. Those of you watching live, only those of you watching live can participate in this. The gifts are $25 gift cards to eBay. So we have four of them. We have artwork to pull up. Oh, yeah. I think I remember to do the artwork. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did the artwork. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I'm going to get it. You did uh, You did yeah, the artwork. so I needed to show. <laughs> All right, so here's how it's going to work. Um, the first person we see uh, give the right answer uh, is going to be the winner. Now, what we see and what you see uh, are two different things usually. I mean, the order. So uh, if you think you're first, uh, uh, you, it might not be on our end. So we have to go with the first person we see. My mom just said we're frozen. I don't know if that's true for everyone. But. All right, so here's our, uh, yeah, Nadine did great artwork, and I almost forgot it, so. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's show let's show the awesome artwork, because it is, and by the way, if anybody knows the answers in the audience, please don't shout out, because it, <clears throat> if you do, Nadine's going to throw you out of here. Mm-hmm. She's going to pick you up and hurl yeah. you. Yeah, All right. right, it is How Well Do You Know Your JNA Trivia Time Live. Yay! All right, first question. We will go with uh, something relatively easy, and all these questions are going to be based on if you've been watching us for the past year. So I'm heading to the chat right now, and the first question is, dun dun dun, dun how many? Oh, you want to read it? 
Um, what is the date of our first show? What is the date of our first show? So we've been on the a year. Official show. We yes. Some practice shows. Oh, see, so don't 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 give them extras. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, see, you just you just cut out the first two practice shows, which I was gonna do anyway. But the date of our first show. Oh, mom, you were so close. No. Uh, right brain. Right brain, close. Peggy? No, that's right. June fourth. Oh, then I'm wrong. Yeah, it's, it's June fourth. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right. So right brain. Geez, I, I I messed up my own contest. That's a that's horrible. Yeah, June fourth. Right brain got it. All right, right brain boutique. Of course, I don't know who right brain boutique is, but uh, please message me on Facebook. I am Jason Smith. Obviously, uh, it's, if you if we're not friends, it's easy easiest to find me at slash tiki pug. So right brain boutique won our first question. Very cool. Yay! Yeah. All right, message me. All right, do uh, yeah, do number two there. Okay, how many living beings live under Nay's roof? <laughs> how many things? And we're not talking plants. Living, no, not plants. Living things, living beings. Uh, Pam. Huh. Oh, no, we're no, not no. taking it from the audience. No. No. Mom. No. 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 See that you got to be really paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. got it yet. Nobody's got it. Nope. You're all dancing around it. Ah, Boom, ah, there it is. Uh, Keith. Keith. Keith Thu. Yes. Nine. There are three cats. A dog. Three kids. A husband. And an A. Yes. So good job. So again, hit me up. Uh, you are the winner. Good job. Congratulations. Got to be paying attention. <laughs> all right. Now, um, I got to look up the answer to that one. So... Uh, the next quote, well, I have to look up right now because i got to watch the chat. Well, let me find my answer first before I ask you because this one, uh, this one's going to take a little, little, little digging. Well, I could do that while you're looking at that. Well, i got to watch the chat, so. Yeah, okay. How many items are currently for sale in my store? That means you've got to be following me and know who I am to know this answer. How many items are in Jay's store right now? And then we'll take a poll, see who's got the most items in their store. And who's got the least? Oh, that would be me. Okay, right just now. checking. They gave me that look. <laughs> I have to relist them, aren't they? Okay, those of you guessing, you you know, uh, nobody's hit the answer correctly yet. Um you do have a... Uh, 5,000. Jeez, don't I wish. Uh, <laughs> um, um, there is Google. and. Uh, yes. N nobody's actually going to look. They're just guessing numbers. I know. Yeah, it's, it, you can actually go look in the store. Yeah. 7,000. My, oh, my. Wow. Did Bridget get it? No. What? Now, what... what um, You're getting a lot of 762. Yeah, yeah what do you got? Because what I'm seeing, what, what do you what do you see? That's what huh. a lot of people are Good, here, here, look at the. All right, all right, all right stop guessing. If, if it, here. Uh, so when I look at my thing, it says 754. All right, thank, thanks eBay for screwing up that question for us. So, <laughs> All right, we're we'll we're, we're, we're gonna go with the first 762 because. I think that was was that Bridget? No, yeah, let's back up here. Sorry guys, I, I had no I, I had no thought in my head that it would, people would see different counts. I know I didn't sell anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Kitty Wonderland is our first 762. So that is the general consensus here in the studio audience and outside. So we will go with 762. So Miss Kitty Wonderland, which is an awesome name, hit me up. All right, this last question, you don't have to search. You just got to have watched the show. You ready? Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Which one of our guests, our former guest, lives above a bar? The ideal place for me to live, that would be. So who that was on our show mm -hmm. lives above a bar? Hmm. That's weird. Everybody said... Ah, Mary, Mary McGee won. Oh, yeah. Lonnie. Yep. Lonnie Oscar. Yeah, so yeah. Mary McGee is our fourth winner. So Mary, uh, message me too. Uh, and it's good. It's good. Look at all the people that know. Yeah, look at that. People people pay attention. Yes, very good. Wow. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right, let's give away a few more prizes. Then we're going to uh, wrap the show up with a tour of the store. We're going to go mobile. And, uh, oh, no, we want to show this. 
So yes, a, as yes, we were yes. setting up today, the store said, hey, we got this donated. We want to give it to you guys, so do something with. So um, this is pretty cool. Yes. It was John Lennon in his own right. Not, I've never even seen this book. Have you ever seen this book? Oh, yeah. Have you? But what's uber, uber cool uh, is name, uh, somebody wrote their name and dated Tina Garrett, Christmas 1964. And in it, taped to another piece of paper, is a little thing that says, Bless you, uh, Yoko. Love Yoko. And a little picture of the Dakota. So I'm guessing that she used Dakota stationery. Dakota is where John and Yoko used to live, uh, right by Central Park. But also in the book, which is also uber cool, which Nay noticed, I hadn't seen this page, the girl whose book this was has written Beatles Concerts I Saw and The Set List. Yep, 66, 64. There's... Now, you and I have both found cool stuff in thrift stores. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is probably the coolest thing, and yeah. we didn't even have to find it. We just got to hand it to it us. it was really nice. So <laughs> thank you, Philly Aids, sir. Thank you. So they said, sell it, donate it. Raffle yeah. at something. So Thank we're going to hang on to this. We're going to do something cool with we'll it. Do something cool but with I don't want to just, uh, I want to do a little research and, and uh, we'll do something. Yeah. yeah. We'll, do we'll, something we'll do something special. neat with this. So, so thank you. So guys. thank you for the yeah. thrift. But that, yeah, that is a cool, one of the coolest pieces I've ever seen in the yep. thrift store. Although yesterday I was talking with Adam and he, somebody had donated all their pictures, like, you know, their personal vacation photos. And in it is someone getting an Emmy. Like you just got rid of, I mean, obviously. And it wasn't anybody famous, at least by look, so maybe a technical Emmy, but still, like, well, I don't need these pictures anymore. Like, <laughs> most people don't get Emmys in their life, so. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty weird. All right, let's give away a few more prizes, then we're going to hit the store. Four, one, two, two. Okay. Get a pair of shades. <sighs> Next. Um, Thank you for coming. Four, one, two, one. Let's, let's, let's show the audience. Ah, okay. All right, great. We got a tumbler, we got glasses, we got a hacky sack. You got six plus? What you got? Oh. oh man. All right, who has a six plus here that hasn't won anything yet? Anyone? Did I just? Did you? Was your name Nobody. One? I can't. You have a six plus? Cool. Uh, uh Dave, will you grab that. Or actually, give it to me first. So our our newest winner just won a thrifting mm -hmm. board with my face. <laughs> iPhone case and tiki stuff. So thank you, Scott Henshaw, for making these. Yes, I, I enjoy mine too. I so there you go. Okay. Now you can have a new fun case. Uh, four one one nine. Yeah. Don't forget, everybody, take a bracelet. Oh, yeah, everybody has, has to get a bracelet. Yep, they're right. Oh, uh, somebody just took them. Oh. I think Greg. Greg, did you you just took the headphones? Oh, Greg's got headphones. Yeah, Greg oh, should have the headphones. Okay. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I put the camera down, so you guys are. Just, Did you have one, two, one, Greg? Okay. You guys were looking at uh, my belly button for a second there. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you finish off the prizes. Four, one, one, four. Oh, we also have the beach ball, and I'm going to get the mobile ready. One, one, four. Okay. All righty. All right. So what we're going to uh, do is I'm going to take, I will take the, uh, I'm going to take mobile on the road, and we're going to walk the store. So just in case things go wrong, technically, yeah, uh, I'll yeah. say thank you to our live studio audience. Let me show them. Oops, not on this screen. I can't show them. Oh my gosh, too many screens. So much easier when you have three screens and you're doing this. So thank you, studio audience. You guys are all on right now. Let me show everybody. Do you want me to finish off the prizes? Yeah. So hang on. Oh wait, we got to go all the way. Uh, there we go. So it goes from there. Yeah, we have to get. Look, look, look at this. Look at this awesome audience. Yvonne picked that comfy. She was the first one here, oh, and she picked the comfiest go. chair. So thank you, everyone, for driving in. Uh, if you can hang, uh, uh, Fat Tuesdays is across the street, Kitty Corner. We're all going to go get rum drinks. So I'd love to hang out with you and chit chat, you know. Uh, and then thank you to the live studio audience who tuned in. Uh, you guys are always yeah, awesome. awesome. And a uh, quick heads up. Let me get back to showing us. So I want to say thank you for a great year, too. Oh, year. thank you for a great year. It's been wonderful. Yeah. I was going to say no at first. I was like, no, I'm not doing a show. There's no way. And and then, um, I don't know, like I was diagnosed with cancer and everything just kind of like, then I had this platform to talk about it. And you're, you've just been a great friend. And it's been a great year. Uh -huh. 
Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Nay shuns the spotlight. I, yeah. I want to be on stage all day, every day, and uh, Nay does not. And so when I first yeah. asked her, she was like, no. I've come out of my shawl, though. You did. Plus, if you watch the first couple of shows, she just looked in the bottom yeah. corner the whole time. She was like, hmm. <laughs> and after every show, I go, Nay, pick your head up. Look straight in the camera. You know, look, look at people. And yeah. uh, I want to say thank you because... You know, when I first told you, let's do this show, I said, look, you're way cuter and smell way better than my old partner. And uh, Nay's a very proud woman. She goes, I don't want anyone to tune in because I'm cute. I'm like, look, I don't care if anyone tunes in just to look at me and go, what a dick, as long as they're tuning in. I don't care. But what, tur what it turned out, and we, you found out you had cancer, so you decided to put your journey on Front Street. Oh, yeah. And, and I, that's I, been awesome that, because... Yeah, we've raised money for the we've National Breast money Cancer and, Foundation. And I know many women we, in our audience who yeah. have got, got tested because yeah. of you. I've gotten so, notes that people are, have, I've, you know, they didn't know that they were at risk and they went and got checked and so that, um, other, other breast cancer patients that I've helped. And so just that alone has been amazing. That's the added bonus. Like, I thought we were going to do a yeah. Thrifton show. And, and it's turned into something that I, I've yeah. really been able to help a cause. So, and, uh, so thank you so much. Ah, so thank great. you. Yeah. You came out of your shell, you stopped looking at the corner and you blossomed. So I love yeah, it. I, I Good job. I I did, yeah. Good job. All right, so uh, Nate's going to give away a few more prizes, so you're on. And what you're going to need to do uh, is plug in once I go mobile so you can hear me. Okay. Because I'll be in other parts of the store. So 4120. Okay. So you can pick. Okay. Thank you. 4118. I crumbled it up thinking I I believe you. We're almost out of people on prizes, so. Let someone else take it. Oh, come get it. I believe that. I believe no, I believe you. Do whatever you want. I'll take this MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the MacBook Pro is not an option. Okay. No, um, it, uh, real quick, the funny thing was Brian just took a keychain and I had all these prizes in my carry on plus some stuff for my mom and other things, and my bag got pulled and searched heavily, and I'm thinking Oh crap! Did like a keychain have a little knife in it or something? Because mm. I just dumped a whole bunch of gifts in there, and I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All I can see is me going to airport jail. I'm like, ah oh, crap! This is not gonna be good. That would have been a really delayed. But whatever they, were, whatever they thought they saw, nothing turned out bad. Luckily, I had uh, no. Uh, I would have been picking it up at like three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Get me out of airport jail. Uh, four one one four. Four one one four. Anybody? Oh, did we? Okay. Four one one nine. One one nine. Are you picking the same numbers? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Four oh eight three. How could this be? Four oh eight three. Okay, we have our last winner here. Yep. And um, everybody, make sure you take a bracelet. And then we got two pair of glasses, a hacky sack, uh, or and a tumbler. we have another tumbler. Yeah. Anybody else not get a prize? Anybody not get a prize? Okay. How'd that happen? All right. So let let those people and everybody get a bracelet. Do you want to hand out like so they can pass them? Yeah. All right. So plug the headphones in. Okay. And you talk while I get going. All righty. You're running the show right now. So I have. Yeah. Do you just want me to? Yep. I'm good. It's, yep. it's on you. You're talking. You're, okay. You're I'm, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to plug in and, and get the earphones going. While, right, while Jay, Jay, no, I do not see you on yet. Um, Thrift has made um, gift bags, goodie bags for everybody here. Say that, Nate. Oh. So Philly Aid Thrift has made a goodie bag for everyone here. That is so sweet of them. Oh. Right, click on me now. Uh, yeah. Okay. You are. are not your friend right now. No, I know. This is you, right? Yeah, we're on there you. We there we go. Okay. All right. We are on Jay. Let's go for a tour of the store here. Get my. Let's flip the camera around. Come on. There we go. All right. So, you hear me, Nay? Hello, Nay. Okay. Do you hear me? Now I hear you. Maybe. Okay, good. Yes. All right. I hear you. I hear you. I'm good. Cool. Just wrong earrings. Yes, no kidding. All right.
So okay. Affiliate Thrift has a Christmas corner all year. Oops, mm -hmm. let me get this out of the way. They have a Christmas corner all year. Look at the amount of Christmas mugs they have. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Christmas mugs. and It is Christmas all year, Affiliate Thrift. And look, I know I'm shooting into a window, so I apologize. But look, all Christmas, 50% off. Yep. Yeah, so if you need to stock up on Christmas, now's the time. Yep. Oh, and you got to get the car. End of, there's a car. Yeah, there's a car. So, there was a guy in the car. There was a mannequin in the car. I think he's gone. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, he's still there. Okay, cool. Uh, Philly Ace Rift is two stories, so we are on the top floor right now. Mm -hmm. This is Nadine's favorite. Oh section. yes, I, I want to get there today. I'm like, I was walked by there and I was strolling. And then here's one of my favorite sections: the women's purses, because I love women's purses. And they always have good purses here. Always have good purses yeah. here. Yeah. They have a huge book corner. There's Travis. Travis drove all the way and then decided not to watch the show. Okay, I love you, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the loud music. I'll keep on moving. So here is, oh, let's go this way. This is the vintage room. So everything in here is vintage. There's, oh, it's priced accordingly, but, but fair. And there is always cool stuff to be found. Too bad this bitch and lamp ain't for sale. And the other cool thing about Affiliate Strip, besides their fun um, tags, is they definitely set up fun displays. Yes. Jason, uh, make sure that you get the AIDS testing room as well. Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. And this is a, this is a fun little area, Dollar Land. Oh, we love Dollar Land, yes. Everything in here is a dollar, and I have pulled out good stuff from here. I've pulled out good jeans, good books, all kinds of good stuff. Yep. Here. Here is uh, just kind of normal clothing, buttons, pants, uh, etc. They always have a great wedding dress section. And then here's our yes. kids section. Yep. Toys, books. And then here's, the, like, here, here's the audience. Hello, audience. <laughs> hey, there we go. So as you can see, you can make a big loop. Yeah, let me go uh, show you the testing center. That's this way. So here's all the furniture. And, and if you're anywhere near this area, the stuff that comes in and out, the parade never ends. Hey, there's everybody. And so right between Christmas and the shoes is the HIV testing center. So that's right here. And it, this is the first time I've been in here. And boy, it's cool in here, too. Look at this. I should say Look that. at all this artwork. So this is very neat and a very cool thing they've added to help out the community. So uh, anybody that helps, uh, I I adore. And yep. Oh look, it's Travis again. Uh, um, hit the hit the room before you go downstairs. Hit what room? The testing room. I was just in it. You were? You saw? I didn't see it. Yeah, I was just in it. Oh, I missed it. Okay. I was showing the artwork. Show them the signs that say, please wait to be tested. Okay. That's right. We're coming downstairs. Did you get the, get the stairs? Get the upstairs? Yeah, yeah, get that. There we go. So here's where they got the suits. Oops, my finger out of there. This is Fancy Land. A little shifty. Go a little, go a little slower. Yeah, there's Fancy okay. Land. This is Jason in the morning. <laughs> Uh, they also have a map in case you want to get right to Fancy Land or Dollar Land, so you know where to go. Yes, very, very helpful. The room off to the left is all glassware and kitchen stuff right in there. You should show some of the cool posters too down there, like around the corner in the in the music room. So they and they. This is what's amazing. They take time to alphabetize the CDs for you. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'll dig through them all anyway, but it's nice. That they're uh, all alphabetized. Tons of vinyl, tons of videos, cool posters, Beatles, Star yeah. Trek, Lou Reed. And then this is kind of the main room when you first walk in. It's got 
T-shirts, all the tchotchkes. Yeah, lots of tchotchkes. Some, we always find children. Uh, cool T-shirts there. There's a back room where all the and magic happens. And they also do their tight. own T-shirts. I don't... I don't know if you know this, Jay, but they also do their own T-shirts where they put a re the recycled logo on it, and it says Philly Aids Thrift on the back. So you can purchase yep. those as well. I've purchased a couple of those, and uh, to, to support the store. And then at the front, we ring out. So here's all the chat mm -hmm. Then at the front, when you hang out, they always, you know, kind of profile the cool stuff. They'll usually have cool shirts hanging up there. Cool yeah, you found some good here. stuff in the case. They have, there's some cases. Yep, so here's uh, cases with good shoes. Yep. Helmet Lang is in there, I think. Gucci. And uh, as a little cherry on top of the cake, they definitely always have a cool, cool window display. Are you leaving, Bri? Paying pay the meter? Good man. So let's walk outside here and we'll see the uh, cool window display. Because they always have a cool window display. Oh, yes. The window displays are amazing. What? <laughs> the best. That's not made out of giant flowers. That is awesome. And they send them every season, every holiday, every, they're always, and they are just best window displays ever. Yep. So that's kind of why we, uh, let me flip the camera around here as I head back upstairs. That's one of the reasons we love the store, because of the, uh, Eclecticness, the creativity, and, and we and we should mention too that there's a sister store at 12th and Pine. It's smaller, but and it's it's mostly books, all kinds of books. But there's also um, some clothing, some vintage clothing, some tchotchkes and whatnot. And it's it's all it's a really it's another really great store. It's smaller than this one, but I would definitely recommend to visit their sister store as well. Ever get <laughs> All right, I'm coming back to you. We're going to end the show and uh, thank everybody. So I'm hanging I have to say something about, I have to say one more thing. Um, these bags that uh, this Philly Aid Surf gave, gave these wonderful bags to all of our audience members. And on the bottom of the bag, it says, bring this bag um, for 5% off. So if you shop here, you will get 5% off if you bring your bag in. And <laughs> on the inside... <laughs> On the inside, we have an awesome uh, Philly Aid Surf button, and in, there's information all about the the, the charity um, screenings. Uh, when you, if you want to get tested, um, they need volunteers. All about um, you know, and all about the store. So, so that's a kind of it's a cool little packet with a with an awesome Philly Aid Surf button. So. And somebody asked, are they all volunteer? Yeah, there are about 15 uh, salary employees and, and 100 rest, volunteers. Yes, yes, so a lot of volunteers. Yeah. All right, cool. So when we're top of the hour, that worked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not too many technical difficulties. And no, I think we did one well. One year, give me five. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. We appreciate it. Uh, we love you all. Because without you, we don't have much of a show. Yeah. We could still do it. It would be boring just talking to each other. So. Yeah. Uh, I do enjoy when people walk, learn, and uh, uh, expand their horizons. I heard Greg Purdy talking about buying bras today, so those kind of things. Yeah, and doing the show has really helped me kick cancer too. Nice. All right. So it's yeah. So thank you, uh, thank you, studio audience. Thank you, home audience. Thank you, uh, watch later audience. I don't want to call those people. <laughs> uh, so those of you who won the four prizes, send me a message on Facebook. And don't forget, I'm out of town for a week, so I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you, everyone. Have a great day, great weekend, and uh, kick some ass at the garage sales tomorrow. Bye-bye.